welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be going over my November favorites um, these are some products that I've been loving for the month of November like I am totally obsessed over them that if I feel like if I were to be stranded in the island all by myself as long as I have these products I'm good um, they do range between high-end and drugstore. Um, it's pretty much makeup, skincare, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So if you guys are excited and ready to see what my November favorites are, then keep on watching. First things first, you guys, I have discovered this. And I'm pretty sure it's been around and I'm just the one that's late to the game. But I am talking, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, is it Thoyer's, Thoyer's? Pretty much their Witch Hazel Toner. It looks like this. And this is amazing. The smell, it literally smells like rose petals. I, I don't know how they do it. But I originally had bought the little travel size one. I finished it and I was like, you know what? this is bomb i need to go go big or go home so i bought the big one i'm not sure if there's a bigger size of this i need to double check because if there is that's the next size i'm buying after i'm done with this one it's literally less than halfway done it's so good it leaves your skin so smooth at least it does to me it leaves my kid my kid <laughs> leaves your skin feeling so smooth and i like how it's very moisturizing as well because i know that there are other toners out there that i have tried that they just feel like they suck the life out of your face and with this one it does not do that it's actually the opposite it leaves it very moisturized and this is alcohol free paraben free um, gluten free rose water it has rose water it cleanses and it tones and it's just like i said it's just it smells like rose petals if you guys just want to go ahead and maybe get the travel size start there you guys every skin type is different so what might work for me might not work for you these are just items that my skin is loving at the moment but if you guys can get the travel size i will definitely go there Next item that I have been obsessing going with face pretty much is this little thing right here by Flawless. This, you guys, is what I use to pretty much remove all my facial hair. I know that there's a lot of talks here and there whether should we shave our face. Um, I've been doing it, I want to say, for about five months now and I have definitely noticed the difference on my skin. When I apply my foundation, it just goes on so smoothly and flawless, you guys. And I've been using this little thing right here. What I like about it is you literally don't feel anything. It turns on right here. And I know it looks and it sounds like we already know. A toy whatever I know y'all were thinking it but oh my god and you you don't feel a thing at all but you know it's doing its job like once is once you're done using this on your face I use it on my face you guys nowhere else but then it leaves it so smooth and I feel like this is good you guys like you guys definitely need to get it um in the inside you take these out these little um razors and these are um you know you can switchable so like every i switch mines every every month. Ah, sorry i switch mines every month you guys and it's so good and it does not make my hair grow back thick i know that there's a lot of people that think oh, okay yeah you know it might grow back thick at least it does not to me using this right here because i know if you just go in with like a shaver like then i feel like ooh. You know that might damage your skin this one it does not it removes the hair and it also removes dead skin so you're also exfoliating your skin when you use this like this bomb I feel like I keep saying bomb for all the products but they're bomb next product um, that I am obsessed with for the month of November is this highlighter from those of colors and it's the Desi and Katie collaboration and I have the shade chasing the Sun which this is you can see right there with the name 
and you guys the packaging it is so bomb <laughs> but no it is beautiful like it this is what it looks like it's just sparkly and girly and then the inside oh you guys it comes with a mirror and this is what the highlighter looks like and the packaging it is that beautiful gold but it's like that champagne gold i don't know how to explain it and it feels so smooth and buttery and this is what the swatch looks like right on here let me just see that like oh, it's just bomb you guys like mm. That's what I have on my face today, that highlighter. Most of my favorite products, I actually have them on my face today for the sake of the video and because I just wanted to do my makeup. Like, mm, I never do colors like these, you guys. And I actually did this using the James Charles palette. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on it. Once it's back in stock, I feel like y'all need to run and get it. Um, next item that I have been loving is this e.l.f. crease brush. Well, the detail crease brush, and it looks like this. It's very tiny, and what I've been loving about this brush is how easy you can just go in here and blend your waterline. Just it's the perfect size for this you guys and i've been also taking shadow like up the crease and this is just so good and for the price of it you guys oh my god it's insane and you know elf sometimes with them it's also with me it's a hit and miss some products can be good some can just be like eh but this they they killed it with this brush so if you guys from all these products i think this might be the most affordable one this and one more product that i'm going to talk about next by elf as well those two bomb y'all need to grab them next product that we're going to be talking about is this elf um brow pencil it looks like this and literally this has been my go-to now pretty much that's what i have on my brows today this performs so good um you guys know that i've been a ride or die fan for the benefit but i haven't touched them since i discovered this one and that tells you a lot it does come with obviously the product you know you and it's so creamy you guys oh my god like i am obsessed and it also comes on the other side with the spoolie so yeah i feel like it's bomb you guys and the quality of it it feels just like a high end but for the fraction of the price next product that i have been obsessed with for the month of november is this nyx lip liner in the shade brown omg you guys this has been literally my go-to liner in almost all of my well yeah all of my videos like it is so creamy so pigmented and it's just a dream to apply and i know that nyx they are very affordable um this is actually my first lip liner that i have tried from them and just by trying this one you guys like look how <gasps> this is so embarrassing i have to sharpen it because i've been using it that much and that's because it's bomb like i'm definitely gonna go ahead and grab more shades to try out because with this one, it won me over. Speaking of lips, um, the next item that I'm going to be talking about is another e.l.f. product. <laughs> I just realized it's e.l.f. And it's this lipstick, you guys, in the shade Blushing Brown. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the shade looks like, you guys. I, I just think it's the most beautiful shade that I have ever laid my eyes on. And uh, I'm running out of space, but I'm gonna do it right here. Like, do you guys see how pigmented that is? Like the pigmentation on these freaking e.l.f. <sighs> lipsticks compared to high ends, I'm just like, how do you guys do it? Like, how? Because this is 
balm and it's pretty much what I'm wearing on my lips today along with a combination with the NYX um, lip liner and brown and I've been loving this combination too. I've been using that quite frequently and I just think it's bomb. Speaking of lips, <laughs> again, I know that now with the colder months, it's important that we take care of our lips as well as our skin. And one product that I have been loving, loving, like this right now is, like I'm saying it, this right here, what I'm about to show you guys, is my holy grail when it comes to lip balms. However, I just wish the price was a little bit less because this lip balm is kind of on the pricey side. And I'm talking about the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and it's this one right here. And look how much I have still and i've had this for i want to say almost a year like this right here is my holy grail when it comes to lip balm and you guys this mm, like i don't even know where to begin if you suffer from dry lips dry lips chapped lips if you feel like it's dehydration lips this right here is your best friend out of all these products you guys this has to be my favorite one of all so if you guys cannot get all of um, I mean obviously I'm not saying go get all of them but this right here you guys need in your life like I am not kidding this will change your lip game forever like now you gonna have like kissable juicy lips okay lips that guys gonna be looking like damn like I gotta try those like those type of lips this oh my god i know that it is a sleeping mask you guys but i honestly don't use it like a sleeping mask well i kind of do but not always um if during the day i feel like my lips are dry this is what i put on and i swear to god like a couple of minutes a couple of hours you put this overnight by the morning your lips are fully transformed and if you put this during the day you'll notice the difference in your lips on how soft and smooth they are so please go to sephora and get a sample and y'all mm -mm, y'all gonna be back buying it i'm telling you the next product that i have been obsessing with in the month of november is the Too faced born this way concealer and it looks like this and it's the one in the fat packaging because i know they have a skinny one but it's the fat one the pretty much the newest release that they have made and i am in the shade warm beige it's what i have on pretty much as my under eye this is so good i also love the shape tape one but i feel that sometimes you know i'm a full coverage girl for sure but sometimes a little too much can be a little too much i can't believe i'm saying that because when is it too much but this it is full coverage but not as much as the Too Faced one and it's just as good it blends out so beautifully it does not sit on the eyes and I've pretty much been using it with every setting powder that I have and it has not creased on me so yes this has definitely been escalating to my top favorites um but this is is bomb like yes Too Faced y'all yeah, is killing it I swear I need to go I wish like no I'm gonna go and buy backups and backups of this because you know how some mm -mm, sometimes when the company does something so good they take it off or they change the formula and not nah, honey Too Faced don't change anything about this leave it as is you guys have an amazing product and my last but not least favorite product of the month of November and it's pretty much not a new product I've had this product and I've showed you guys this product for a while now in my channel and I'm talking about the elves stickies for your eyes but they did change their packaging and I am loving it yes elf this is so much better than carrying the big <laughs> the big package oh i want to show you guys hold on because i want to compare it like, look at the difference 
look at the difference right like this is so much better and i'm so happy that elf listened because i was even like mm, the packaging's a little too big but ah! now they made it in these little sizes and you still get the same amount which of 40 strips just in a little smaller compartment and this you guys is pretty much another i can say it because i've been you this is bomb this is another holy grail product for me um i use these all the time that i do my makeup for the price of it you guys and i know i know that you guys can get regular scotch tape i've said it but for i don't know what is it about these products you guys these are just they have magic in them that they don't pull your skin as much as regular tape does even when you try to take the stickiness out of it it still pulls you guys and don't forget we're trying to take care of our skin so we cannot be pulling or tugging anything especially in our under eye area because that's the most delicate part of our face so with these elf they killed it well pretty much this concludes this video i don't know if y'all noticed but i did get a new background <laughs> I just wish the camera will pick up the color more because it looks darker from what I could see in the, my little viewfinder than it is in person. In person, it's this beautiful emerald color. Like, can y'all see that? Like, look how beautiful that color is. And then I feel like it's just me. I think I just make it look darker. So this pretty much concludes this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my current favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget it to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, what? Why? It's just down there. Click that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so that way you are notified every time that I upload a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want me to continue doing my monthly favorites because I always try new different products like all the time. Let you guys in the know of what I'm loving and what I'm not. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.